Hello everybody and I am so excited because I have in my kitchen again Chef Avril Thomas of Fat Creole Tomato. Abe's come to do a dish for us, a nice New Orleans dish and Abe, I had to tell you last time you were here that uh, crawfish etouffee was fantastic. My Thank kids you. are still talking about that and they try to get me to make it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Also, tell us a little bit about your catering company. Fat Creole Tomato came up, uh, came together after Hurricane Katrina. My wife and I was trying to figure out a name that was that connected us to New Orleans, connected us to Louisiana, and the Creole Tomato is only grown in the sorrows of Louisiana. Uh, Plaquem and Parish Creole Tomatoes are these big, fat, ugly, juices, airline tomatoes that have so much flavor to them. And that's where my company stemmed from. I wanted to have connect to something that had so much flavor and definitely something that was from Louisiana, more so the sorrows of New Orleans. So um, that started after Hurricane Katrina. Um, I've catered for intimate events and uh, huge weddings, but you know I really enjoy just what we're doing here today. And he's also here for the Chefs of the World event. The event that I'm here for is called Chefs of the World Hall of Fame. Um, it represents the, uh, it raises money for the HBCU's culinary department. So that's what we're here to do right now and uh, I'm ready to get cooking. Just to let you know, we have some guests here. I have a studio audience. Actually stopped by because they heard Abe was cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm gonna let you get to work and make something delicious for us. Outstanding. So the dish that we're making today is singing shrimp. Singing shrimp, uh, we used to make that back in the late 80s and early 90s at Commander's Palace. I was a captain there in the dining room and we prepared these dishes table side. So the ingredients are pretty simple. It's golf shrimp, 21-25s, that's 21 to 25 shrimp per pound. It's mushrooms, these are button mushrooms that's been sliced. Garlic, can't have enough garlic. Green onions, I'm using the whites and the greens. Butter, as you see there's lots of butter. Heavy whipping cream, a little seasoned salt, Worcestershire, Tabasco, you can't do it without Tabasco for the heat. And we're gonna flame this dish with cognac, all right, and it's gonna and it's gonna be served right on top of pasta. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so first we're gonna heat the skillet. I like using these Teflon skillets because when preparing shrimp, you uh, it's almost foolproof that it won't burn. So we use two pats of butter or two tablespoons of butter to start. Garlic, all of it. It's about four cloves of garlic that I've minced. Green onion, half. Get the whites. Another pat of butter here with seasoning, the seasoning, a little kosher salt, and a cracked black pepper. Now we're going to add some shrimp. We got a couple of mountains of shrimp here. These are really beautiful, Tommy. You did a great job. Oh, I will. <laughs> Good on one batch now, one batch later. All right, all right. Now we want to season the shrimp. We take a little seasoned salt, just right on top. We want to be liberal because we have more 
ingredients going in this. I first started at Commanders, I was, goodness gracious, in the 10th grade in high school. Started there as a dishwasher and worked my way up. It was the greatest thing. I got a chance to work with the great chefs like Paul Proudhon and Emeril Lagasse and Gerhard Grill. These are all legends in New Orleans. So um, if you look in the skillet, this, this shrimp is beautiful and opaque. Got great seasoning going right now and not overcooked, so we give them a good turn here as we're doing so that they can brown on the other side now. And just like we season that side, we're gonna season the next side. All right, so at this point, we're gonna add just a little bit of Worcestershire, Lane Perrin's Worcestershire. About a tablespoon. You smell that? I wish uh, it was flavor TV. Smell a vision. There you go. All right, at this point here, you might want to step back just a little bit. We're going to add the cognac. I don't know if you're going to see it. There it is. Flaming it's singing shrimp. <laughs> All right. Add some of the mushrooms. As I said, just a little bit more butter. Another thing, um, one of the people I cooked for uh, last year at the uh, Chefs of the World event, uh, we had, who's the housewife that we had there? Mm -hmm. It wasn't, no, it was, I uh, can't think of her name, but she also played on House of Plain as the crackhead wife. But she just kept wanting the food, kept, she was sitting at another table, kept coming over to my table, tasting bites and everything. It's very complimentary though, I love it. <laughs> so at this point now that we have this uh, simmering, we, as you see, we kept the fire up because this is, like I said, a very quick dish. We're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. About a cup. Let this reduce just a little bit. Why reducing? Talk about uh, New Orleans. New Orleans uh, right now, post Hurricane Katrina, have more white tablecloth restaurants than before. I mean, everybody is coming there, from Jean George's to uh, we have uh, Costa Rican style steakhouses. Everybody wants to be part of the food scene in New Orleans right now. It's really, really a cool thing. Really, really fun to have all these people come in there. And, you know, I run a restaurant called Nola Restaurant for Emerald, Rest, uh, Emerald Agassi. But in the area that I'm in, it's so compact and the competition is fierce. So we need to make sure that service and food is always A1. All right, so now that we have this dish uh, reducing a little bit, We're going to taste, see where we are, see what we need. I don't think we need anything but the pasta. So here we are. We're going to add a little bit of pasta right to the pot. Chef Thomas just added a combination of fettuccine and whole wheat spaghetti. And now at this point we will reduce the part. Alright, now I'm about the plate.
And there we have it. Singing shrimp. actually really want to bust out singing because it's so good. If you look at the shrimp here, it is delicious. Thank you, Abe. I can't sing, but if I could, <clears throat> it's excellent. Excellent. Light, delicious meal. This is delicious. Another quick, delicious dish by Chef Avril Thomas. You can find his recipe on our website at yourhouseofhometv.com slash singing dash shrimp. Mm -hmm. Chef Tom has also made for us grilled salmon with his incredible fat creole rub. Check out our new online store at shop.yourhouseofhometv.com where you can find his fat creole rub under the kitchen tab. 